Richard, you're a big user of Heimbook collet chucks, and in this particular application, you're using the Spantop Nova 65 on main and second spindle. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you like about the Heimbook collet chuck? Um, it's very flexible. I mean, it, it's uh, obviously a small footprint around the around the collet chuck, so we can get in there with various types of tools, uh, more rigid tools, so you can take better cuts, better surface finishes. Um, it's also quite good with regards to the, the collets themselves because you can profile the collets and hold various different types of components. Um, I've got one component here for you to have a look at. Yeah, no, and what, what's uh, before we look at the component, sure. what about the clamping force, repeatability, um, the ease of changing the collets? How, how do you find features like this? Well, you've got an automatic collet gun which changes the collet very quickly. I mean, they're extremely accurate, so you've got. Um, you can pass one component to another without any any issues in terms of accuracy, uh, and, and you know they're generally a very good collet chuck. Now you explained to me about well, you you mentioned the, the collet chucks being quite compact. Yeah. Do you mean that? And when you say the footprint of the collet chuck, is this just to give additional clearance for your tooling? That's right. It allows us to get the tooling right up close to the component because you haven't got any chuck jaws spinning around getting in the way. You can use shorter tools, be more rigid tools. So if you're taking larger cuts, that helps. But if you're taking finishing cuts, it's, it helps as well because you can get a better surface finish. Now, you, you're going to show us a component here. Yeah. It's a six-sided prismatic part that's being done using two Heimbuch Collin chucks in one operation. Can you, could, you, could you explain the part and, and, and tell us and explain how you manufactured this? Yeah, sure. This is a part we make out of bar, stainless steel component. So it's out of round bar. Although, as you can see, it's a, it's a prismatic component. It comes off complete in one hit. Um, the, the, the uniqueness about the Heimbach chuck is we can wire erode a form in one of the chucks identical to the form of the component. So once we finish machining one end on a standard 65mm bar, we can come over with a Heimbach that's had a profile machine in it, receive the part, we know we're gripping it in exactly the right place all the time, a very high level of repeatability, high level of accuracy. So then we come in and finish the other end, we know everything is in line, everything will repeat, everything will be spot on in terms of position and accuracy, etc. And if you didn't have this feature available to be able to wire erode that, that profile into the collet, how would you have had to manufacture the second operation? How would you have held the part? It's difficult. I mean, you'd, uh, you'd possibly look at a two-jaw chuck, um, but then repeatability wouldn't be as good. Uh, a four-jaw chuck, again, repeatability. To be frank, I mean, I think the, the, the only real way to get the accuracy that you want and the efficiency out of this is, is to go with a Heimbach uh, Heimbach chuck. 